Good morning. This is NASA Space Shuttle Operations, live from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Space Shuttle Endeavor is mounted atop NASA 905, the Space Shuttle Carrier Aircraft, and poised to begin the final ferry flight in shuttle program history this morning. The aircraft is scheduled for departure at 7.15 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. We're looking at a live picture of the shuttle carrier aircraft at Endeavour preparing for taxi and takeoff. Weather conditions at the Kennedy Space Center and in Central Florida are favorable for the ferry flight today. Earlier this morning, NASA managers held a weather briefing. At that time, there were scattered showers and low-level clouds in the area that looked as if they may slightly delay takeoff. However, conditions have improved and everything is go for the 715 departure of Space Shuttle Endeavour on the beginning of its cross-country ferry flight to Los Angeles International Airport. The shuttle carrier aircraft, which is a modified Boeing 747, will take off from Kennedy Space Center this morning and do a flyover of the Space Coast area one final time. It then will head west toward Houston with low-level flyovers planned for the Stennis Space Center in Mississippi and the Michoud Assembly Facility near New Orleans before it uh, arrives in Houston, conducts a flyover there, and lands at Ellington Field later this morning. Preparations for this ferry flight have been underway for a little more than a week and the ferry flight itself has been delayed twice due to weather that was impacting the planned route across the uh, the Gulf of Mexico and the Gulf Coast states. A very broad area of rain and thunderstorms extended from the Gulf northward and prevented the shuttle carrier aircraft from finding a uh, hole in the weather that was safe to fly through. So the decision was made to delay the departure to this morning and now it looks as if all the pieces are coming together. It looks to be a beautiful morning in Florida for the final departure of Space Shuttle Endeavour. Once again, departure is scheduled for 7.15 a.m. Eastern Time to begin the final ferry flight of Space Shuttle Endeavour.
NASA's Space Shuttle Endeavour was the fifth and final shuttle orbiter manufactured and it rolled out of the assembly plant in Palmdale, California in April 1991. Endeavour was named after a ship chartered to traverse the South Pacific in 1768 and, and captained by 18th century explorer James Cook. The shuttle Endeavour flew 25 times and traveled more than 122,000 miles and accumulated 299 days in space. It performed uh, many of the memorable shuttle flights. As we're looking at the NASA Pathfinder aircraft, it's a C-9. The Pathfinder is an aircraft that will travel 50 to 100 miles out in front of the shuttle carrier aircraft and do just as its namesake infers. It will seek a path of clear weather along the path uh, for the shuttle carrier aircraft to pursue. While airborne, it's not safe for the shuttle and the shuttle carrier aircraft to encounter inclement weather. Rain showers will do damage to the tiles. Turbulence is not uh, conducive to safe flight. So the Pathfinder, as always, will uh, take off first and it will blaze a path and be in contact with the pilots of the shuttle carrier aircraft to let them know um, that their planned path is safe and if not recommend a, a path to divert to. Endeavour's maiden voyage was STS-49 in May of 1992 and on that mission it featured a spectacular rescue of the Intel Sat-6 communication satellite by three spacewalkers, something that had never been accomplished before. And after the rescue, the Endeavour astronauts released the satellite into orbit. Four months after that, Mae Jemison was the first American, the first African-American woman in space. She flew aboard Endeavour. Endeavour also was the shuttle that flew the first Hubble Space Telescope servicing mission STS-61 in December 1993, which corrected Hubble's vision. Later, Endeavour flew the STS-88 mission in December of 1998, the very first space station assembly flight, commanded by Kennedy Space Center Director Bob Cabana. They delivered the Unity module and connected it to the Russian Zarya module. Barbara Morgan, NASA's first educator astronaut, logged more than 305 hours in space aboard Endeavour during the STS-118 mission to the space station in August 2007. And in June of 2011, 2011, Mark Kelly's STS-134 crew flew Endeavour's final mission and did it in style by enhancing the space station science capabilities they delivered the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, which today is advancing our knowledge of the universe by searching for unusual matter. And just like Space Shuttle's Discovery, Enterprise, and Atlantis, Endeavour is embarking on its next mission, which is to inspire the next generation of explorers and engineers. And in this case, Endeavour is bound for the California Science Center in Los Angeles with delivery expected at Los Angeles International Airport between 11 and noon on Friday, September 21st. To get to this point for a ferry flight, it is a complex operation to put the space shuttle on top of a large 747 aircraft. Began on Friday, September 14th, as Endeavour was backed out of the Vehicle Assembly Building where it had been stored for several months awaiting this departure. A tail cone was fitted to the back of Endeavour to provide streamlined, uh, a streamlined path of air as it flies through the air atop the 747. Many of the workers who have 
served at Kennedy Space Center and worked on Endeavour and had hands-on over the years, walked alongside of the spacecraft as it moved slowly from the vehicle assembly building to the shuttle landing facility mate de mate device. A cadre of news media also was on hand to document this move. And a photo opportunity for many of the workers holding an Endeavour sign and then back on the road toward the shuttle landing facility. An amazing spacecraft with tiles to protect it from uh, the heat of re-entry. A vehicle that launched like a rocket and landed like a glider. This was an early morning move beginning at 5 a.m. on Friday. And there's the mate de mate device, a gantry-like structure that will enable the shuttle to be lifted into the air and placed on top of the 747 shuttle carrier aircraft. There you see the shuttle carrier aircraft waiting in the background. News media observing the move. And from inside the mate de mate device, Endeavour makes its approach. Spotters along the way will make sure that the shuttle is positioned in the perfect spot. It's a very precise operation, as you would expect when you're attempting to lift a 175,000 pound space shuttle and put it on top of a 747. A yellow sling hovers above the shuttle and that sling will be moved into position with four attach points that will take the weight of the shuttle and lift it aloft. There you see some workers positioning one portion of the sling and attaching it. The sling is the yellow device. The sling is attached to cranes that will lift the shuttle. And here you see the nose section is up in the air. Once Endeavour was raised, the nose gear landing gear was retracted. More than likely the final time that the landing gear was, will be retracted for Endeavour. It will be displayed in California. And this lift was completed. The shuttle carrier aircraft moved underneath it. 